Hi friends, Christy here over at Crafty Christy's Creations. And today we're gonna talk about three different ways to address all those envelopes just in time for sending out all those Christmas cards. So stay tuned for all the fun. The first way we are going to address our envelopes is using the sketch pen. So in order to do that, I need to go ahead and change my media size to fit my envelope. So I'm gonna to come to custom and I am using A2 size envelopes for your standard A2 card size, which is also known as a number five and a half. And um, I'm gonna to go to custom media size and my width is five and three fourths, so 5.75. And my height is four and three eighths, which is 4.375. And that is my envelope size. Do you find this helpful? Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Now let's jump back in where we left off. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and grab my type tool and I can type my return address on here. So Crafty Christy. Candy Lane, Oregon. Oops. All right. So there's my turn return address. And when you're doing this, you got to think about using your sketch pens. If you have a, um, they have special, um fonts that are meant to be sketch fonts and then that will give you just a single line otherwise if you're using just any of your other fonts you can see here it's going to do the complete outline so you'll end up with two lines on your font so i'm going to go ahead and change this to a different font um, that's going to be a little bit easier to read and then i can grab the corner here and make that a lot smaller we can do that and then you know you want to place that kind of in your in the corner there and then we can do another one here and then we can go to Smith family Sandy Lane Okay, and then I can grab a different, you can do the same font or a different font. Um, and this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink this down. You wanna make sure you leave room over here for your stamps. And we can kind of center that. And then if, with this, what I wanna, if I want, say, um, I only want their name to be really fancy and I want this to be something a little more legible you can just highlight and do that. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with everything there. I can still come over here and come and weld my text. And then I can just make that a compound path. And now everything is looks good there. And then this one I don't have to weld because everything is a print. So I'm only welding because this is a cursive font. So if I like the look of that, now you can see right now I don't have a fill color in there. So when I do this, what it's going to do is it's going to do wherever this red line is, that is where it's going to trace. So if I want it to look more filled in, one, you could use a thicker marker and that will kind of fill in those gaps. Or what you can do is come down here to your sketch pen panel and you can select a fill. Um, and you can do, I, I kind of like this one. This is the scribble effect. Oop. And it helps if you give it a fill color. And it didn't and then we can do our outline let's give this a fill color so now if I do it with a sketch fill 
you can see not all of them really show up, but this grid one will show up. Um, they don't fill in a ton, just depending on what you're using. Some of these don't really fill in. The other thing you can do is come to your offset panel and you can do an internal offset and then you can just add, you can apply that, you can do another internal offset and make it even smaller and apply that and that will help fill in your letters as well. So there's a couple of different ways to do it with either the using the internal offset or the sketch fill to fill in um, your envelope there. And then when you go to send that, you know, you can see it's going to do, and it's not really great with these ones here. You can see it hasn't picked up everything for the sketch. So we may have to go back here and just select because I've already made it a compound path. Um, we may have to go back to our sketch panel and not give it a fill since I did the off the internal offset. So if I go to the send panel now, now you can see it'll do those internal offsets. And then um, this one, it, it's only going to do the internal offsets with that. And now you would change your action to sketch with the sketch pen. And if you've got the adapters on there, you can put in any kind of pen that you want. It does not have to be the specific sketch pens. And it will fill that in. And then um, that's how you can do that. I have a whole other tutorial on how to use sketch pens, and I will link that below so you can get a better idea of how to do all of that. So that is option number one. And then option number two, you can go ahead and give this a fill color. You can do it that way. You can add a graphic on here too. Also with the sketch pen, you could add a graphic. And then what you can do is you can actually send this to your printer and print on your envelope. So if you're going to do that, um, when you come over here to your print, send a printer, and you can see I'm out of my print area. So let's go ahead and hit cancel. Let's go to our page setup. And then I'm going to hit show print border. That way it's going to help me know where I can print. I'm going to pull that one down into my printed area. So I make sure that I'm within my printable area. We've got that. And then I'm going to come over to my print panel. And here I can go ahead and hit print. And then this, when I choose my printer, I'm going to come to my preferences. And then here's where I'm going to tell it what I'm doing. I'm going to print an envelope. And that's your standard long envelope. So let's see if the other one, the DL, you can still see that is a standard long envelope. Um, here we can choose different size envelopes. I'm going to do a custom envelope and I'm going to make this the same as what I did for my page in silhouette. So I am at 5.75 on my width and my height is 4.375. I'm going to hit OK. We're going to set that up like that. And it doesn't seem to like that. Um, so even just telling it that I'm printing an envelope and it's not going to let me do a custom size Let's see. 
So I'm just going to choose this A5 with the landscape. And then when I put my envelope into the rear tray, um, knowing that whatever I put in first is what where it's going to print. So I'm going to go ahead and put like the top of my envelope in first. So now I can hit OK. And it doesn't really like that. So it wants me to change it to the 10. So I'm going to just change. It's not going to be quite right, but we've sized it right in silhouette. So we'll see how this works. And then once I've got that all set up, I can go ahead and hit print and then it'll print my envelope. So that is option number two. So now you can do a sketch, you can do print. We're going to cancel this. The other thing you can do, especially if you have lots of ones to do, is you can just make labels. So with that, you're going to do, because again, you're going to print, but we're going to print labels. So I'm going to do letter size. That's standard for most printers. And then what I can do is I can size each of these. I can do a box. So say I want... Um, knowing how big your card size is, I think that'll be the right size box for that. And I made two boxes. So let me see what this one looks like. We can make that a little bit smaller. And this can be my return address. I'm going to group this together. Let's pull this one back in here. You know, can center these together. And then I'm going to group this. Actually, before I group it, so before we group everything, I'm going to go ahead. I've got this one made. Now I'm going to take this box and I am going to make a few more. And then in here, I'm going to come in and now I can type some more. And now I can do. Um, the Adams family and I can put their address in here and then again I can go ahead and choose the fonts that I want so if I want them different fonts I can select all of these choose the font that I want and then if I want their name to be something different, I can go ahead and do it this way and pick a prettier font for that. Um, you can see when you do it that way, though, it really um, spaces everything out a lot bigger. So you could certainly come in and do two separate lines. So meaning if I wanted to do here, I could just do... Um, could do it like that and then add another line here with their address. Okay, and then I could grab their address. Pick the font that I want for that. Make that nice and small to fit here. And then again, I can pick that nice pretty font for their name. Make that smaller and fit that in here as well. And then that way you can kind of space things a little bit closer together. Whereas here, it's got a lot of space in there because it's all in the same. The other way you can fix this is to come into your uh, text style and then you can do your line spacing and shrink down your line spacing a bit. So you've got multiple options of how you can fix these up. Um, and then for this one, you know, then you can come in here if you want this to be, say so you just want to do everybody with black. 
and uh, you can get rid of your line colors. And then leaving this box around it, now you're gonna do this as a print and cut and you're gonna make stickers. So then when you go to do this, when you go to print it, it's gonna print everything. And because your bounding box around everything has no point value, it will not print that box. But then if you've got them all different colors, then what you do when you come to your send, and then now what we're gonna do is cut, you're, if they're all going to be the same color, I would leave your bounding boxes red and do all of your fills as a different color. Um, so you could then you could do cut by line color and then you could say, hey, let's only cut. You would only want to cut your red box. Otherwise, under your simple, um, you know, you would just click on this and say no cut and just kind of hold down the shift key and grab the inside parts and say no cut. And then it's only gonna cut these lines out. And then those are your stickers that you can use to put on all of your envelopes. And I have another full tutorial on how to make address labels that I can link to as well to kind of give you more in depth of how to do this. That is three different options on how to address your envelopes for your Christmas cards.